Welcome to a demonstration of the Boyle's Law interactive illustration from the Science Primer blog. The illustration explores the relationship between volume and pressure in an, in an enclosed container when the temperature and amount of gas in the container are held constant. The illustration must be initialized before it can be run. Clicking the Set Reset button does this. The speed the illustration runs is a function of the processing power of the computer it is running on. On new computers it may run quite fast. If this is a problem, the slider across the top can be used to slow down or speed it up. Once initialized, the model shows molecules of gas in a round container. Volume and pressure are shown by in the sliders below the main window, in the main window itself, and also will appear in these graphs to the right. Temperature is also shown and for this illustration it's held constant so this value will not change. The user can choose to adjust either volume or pressure using the adjust selector. Whichever one is selected can be changed using the slider. As the value of either parameter is adjusted, the other parameter responds in accordance to Boyle's law. Graphing is automatic. If the graphs get too comp compacted, the plots can be cleared at any time using the reset plot button. Hitting run pause button puts the molecules in motion. The gas molecules obey the ideal gas laws. Collisions with the container walls are perfectly elastic. Forces are paired, meaning both the molecule and the wall experience a force associated with each impact. A flash of red occurs each time a molecule hits the wall. With no adjustment of the sliders, the plots show straight lines for both pressure and volume. We can get a sense of the number of collisions occurring by clicking the Run Pause button again. This freezes the illustration and provides a snapshot of the number of collisions occurring at that time. The number will vary. but with the volumes set to the larger values, the range should be between w within about one to four collisions at any given time with larger numbers visible occasionally. With the adjuster set to gas volume, the volume of the container can be adjusted by moving the slider. Reducing the volume will shrink the container and increase the pressure. These changes are visible both in the main window and on the sliders and can also be seen as changes in the graphs to the right. Notice with the adjust set to gas volume the pressure slider does not respond to user input and bounces back to wherever it was. This increase in pressure can also be seen as an increase in the, in the number of hits in any given time. And again, this can be seen by pausing the model. Now the values tend to be greater than 4 and will continue to increase as the volume shrinks. To watch volume respond to changes in pressure, simply change the adjust selector to pressure and now when it's mon running the model will respond to changes in pressure and not volume. Notice also that the product of the pressure and volume values shown in the main window will always be roughly 2440. This is in accordance to Boyle's law. Any variation that's seen is due to rounding. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching and enjoy the model.